Hello, my name is Omar Abbasad. It's April 24, 2018, Tuesday, at 3 p.m. in Toronto. So i um, going to talk a little bit about um, the ongoing harassment uh, uh, in the targeting program. That is part of the targeting program that I am experiencing in the building and outside of the building as well and the general community. Um, there seem to be uh, the flag, uh, the constant flagging that's going on based on feedback that uh, uh, that the public is given uh, to this team that's put together, um, and in this case, a team a team that is in the building, and uh, there is a there is a, there seem to be um, a series of meetings held uh, on a weekly basis in which uh, this case, my case, is being constantly discussed. So I heard um, that I'm being flagged for stalking. Uh, keep in mind that I'm the one who's being monitored. In order, in order for me to be monitored, I have to be stalked to do so. I'm the one who's being stalked. The perpetrators are see, saying I'm stalking them to cover it up. Um, I heard also that I'm walking back and forth in the corridor. Of course, I don't do that. Um, I walk outside. I go outside and I walk for three hours. There is no point in walking back and forth in the corridor. There's no sunlight there. There's no fresh air. So this is not something that I would do. It's an out and out lie. Just piggybacking on other lies that's were, that were told that, uh, that came from um, neighbors who lived uh, previously um, in units around me, all Pakistani people. So, um, and that's not being racist. They were Pakistani people and I'm being har I am being harassed by uh, a lot, a lot of Muslim people as well because the network of surveillance extended outside of the building, which I told the police about. So um, the uh, the other types of lies that's being told, I heard, um, is that um, there is some sort of a sexual uh, um, um, connotation to um, the actions of uh, massaging my brother's foot, massaging his head, his temples. Um, he's very, very sick, so I just try to comfort him. Uh, in any which way and make him more comfortable and massages does that. He has a circulation problem so the massage definitely helps. He asks me to do it. So uh, again there's absolutely absolutely no 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 sexual um, intent in any of these actions or words. Um, so I just wanted to say that because uh, Part of the targeting program is to have this whole thing one-sided. It's supposed to be one-sided. So um, my voice is deliberately being suppressed. So if I'm pulled out of my unit, no questions I ever ask before I'm pulled out of my unit and taken to a hospital based on lies, out and out lies. Um, and if uh, there are recordings about me that portrays me ang in an angry mood, then these recordings are taken inside of my home inside of my home. So uh, this is spying. They're spying on me to do that. And uh, I'm being harassed outside the window, viciously so, by everybody and anybody who visits uh, uh, the loading dock, by contractors that's on site who are constantly talking about the case. There seemed to be some sort of a push to, um, to get the case that I filed in the tribunal, the Human Rights Tribunal, quashed. Because apparently everybody has an interest in it. Because um, uh, from the harassing comments I heard, um, the person I filed the, ca the case against was acting on behalf of the community. He was a manager and he was taking instructions from the community. He was doing what the community wanted. Therefore, if he puts the word out that he doesn't want the case to go on, then the community would harass me and intimidate me and hit me with lasers and microwaves to intimidate me to the point where I would do what they want me to do with the case, as in settle or um, or intimidate and harass people um, to make it get settled. I don't know. Uh, uh, I mean, the, these gangs are very prevalent. They affect everybody. Anybody and everybody could be affected by now. So um, whatever the intentions of these gangs are, they seem to push their agenda using covert means of harassment, intimidation, 
remote technologies and so on. So um, this is why I'm being so viciously, viciously harassed. Uh, and of course, uh, you get angry if you're harassed uh, when I am inside my home and only when I am inside of my home. I use venting as a way of uh, constructively dealing with anger. So these things should not be recorded. Again, I, I have said this several times in the past. And this method of uh, framing and a setup, it's set up um, 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 a scenario here. And it's this is repeated over and over and over again. This technique of framing me and setting me up to portray me as somebody who's angry, somebody who will lash out, somebody who's dangerous, somebody who's a risk to, to society. This setup and this frame right here in this building inside this unit and outside and the harassment outside of it is being used over and over and over again to get information to portray me this way when none of it is true. Absolutely none of it is true. The fact is when I vent, I feel a whole lot better and I don't, I'm, you know, there is no anger anymore. So that's one way of constructively dealing with the anger that's brought on by being viciously and horrendously harassed as a mentally ill prostitute, which I am being flagged for. And of course I'm not either one of these things. So um, the idea is to make me act like one and look like I am mentally ill by acting out a certain way, by reacting to the harassment. That's the, the plan, which of course is not working and never will. Um, so that's my side of the story. I'm not going to go on uh, any more about it. I've said this over and over again. Uh, there's a need to repeat it because the... Um, the, uh, the submissions to magistrates and judges are repeated over and over and over and will continue to be repeated until the gangs and the, the perpetrators of this crime, this community targeting crime, gets what they want. So that's pretty much my lifetime. So uh, I'll have to continue doing this pretty much for my lifetime anywhere I am in the world because I believe this criminal activity is a global a global activity. There are uh, criminals all over the world who's taken part in this and technology allows that to happen. You know, cell phones and so on. Uh, very, very, very easily done. So that's my side of the story. There is no emergencies here. No mental emergency, no physical emergency, um, no emotional emergency. Dealing with grief is something that um, that uh, takes uh, effort and definitely we're, I am um, uh, dealing with that um, in a step-by-step -step process. So these things are not, uh, um, should not be taken um, as, uh, as evidence, quote unquote, that uh, there is something wrong with me because there's absolutely nothing wrong with me. Absolutely nothing wrong with me other than the fact that I am being harassed by traffickers, Chinese traffickers who are working with other traffickers. So it's not only the Chinese traffickers who is trafficking remotely. Uh, there is uh, traffickers in every ethnic background, every ethnic group. They just work together. So they take turns. Uh, the Chinese traffickers will sell it to the Sri Lankans. The Sri Lankans will sell it to whoever. Uh, so the Indians, the Indians will sell it to the Caribbeans. So, you know, it, just, it goes on and on and on. This is what it means by the account being saved. It's actually a cover for trafficking. So, again, no emergency, no mental illness, not a prostitute here. Um, and uh, I will not be intimidated into shutting up ever. Talk to you another time.